What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, baby. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples, Peep Squad is in the building. Let's get down to the situation. So Portia Williams went live on Instagram and she wanted to address some allegations. And basically, she is calling out Kenya Moore because she feels like Kenya Moore is out here spreading rumors about her that she was against Black Lives Matter and supporting, you know, Candy Burris and badmouthing Candy Burris in front of other cast members of other people that is a part of you know the franchise so in any event Portia Williams you know basically didn't want that to be on TV so she asked them to remove it from you know the scene because she didn't want people to think that black women are fighting over black life matters issues and basically saying this one is money hungry that one's money hungry and things of that nature so it was a negative look so Portia basically went to try to you know get that scene cut out and it was actually cut out and Kenya Moore did talk about this on speak on it on Candy's channel and basically you know Portia Williams is saying that it is all a lie that she never bad mouthed Candy Burris she never went behind her back she never talked about her and she's also saying that the text messages that she had between her and Nene basically Nene was saying that it was sad because the ladies did have a conversation and they did talk about using all of their platforms together to but then allegedly Candy went to the network wrote them a letter and basically detailing the things that she want things that she want to happen and basically you know she had it happen and they're going through Candy to do this she's a spokesperson and so Portia Williams felt like she didn't want to you know go behind candy because that's bad that doesn't look good and cause division but also you know she felt that it was sad nini felt that it was sad that they couldn't do it to collective as a group but Portia said basically only thing that we can do is ask the network for a donation and we'll get together and do other pro projects but in any event you know kenya moore did talk about the situation you know on speak on it and then the information got to you know uh vulture which is you know a known you know website and basically Portia Williams was upset because she's mentioned in a negative light with Black Lives Matter like she's hating or she tried to stop something from happening because she wanted to be in control but in any event here's Portia saying it in her own words and she was very disrespectful to Kenya Moore and Candy Burris let's get into it because I asked for it to be taken out, right? Now, we know that a lot of housewives, they have power over the years and they may be able to go and ask the heads to take something out, right? It is what it is. I have worked very hard to get to where I am in life. I have worked very hard on this show and if I've gotten to a place where I can call the execs up and get something taken out, so be it, right? However, in this particular situation, the, the way that Kenya is putting it out there that I asked the Bravo execs to not play a scene of Candy and I having an argument, having a fight, me dogging Candy about her efforts is concerning Black Lives Matter is simply not true. What happened was, we're going to take it from the beginning. Nene who was on our show it's uh you know at that last season you know nini was on the show y'all know who the cast is anyway nini was doing an article and she was she sent some private text messages to a particular blogger and the blogger put out the text messages and they were received out of context the text messages the way the blogger put it out there was that i and uh, I, that Candy went behind the cast back and went to Bravo to try to get some programming done without telling us which blindsided us and which should make Candy look bad. So Candy got upset with that and Candy um, decided to confront me about it on Housewives. So the whole season has happened. I mean, the beginning of the season happened and I had not seen any of the cast. This was my first scene with the cast, which was Todd's birthday. 
I walked into Todd's birthday and I was told Candy wanted to question me about something. And I said, okay, that's fine. I haven't done anything. Happy to answer any of her questions. As soon as I walked into um, the party, Candy wanted to ask me about these texts. There are some texts out there that, you know, you're talking about what I was trying to get done for Black Lives Matter, etc. We were having a decent conversation. It was nothing to be upset about. And, and, and I thought, okay, this is fine because I have the text messages to prove that I never dogged you out. I've been full, fully supportive of you, Candy, in Black Lives Matter. And whatever you're doing for our people, I love it. I'm right here for you. So anyway, the scene, the, the scene continues. Kenya comes over. It turns into an argument. So at that moment, I decide, you know what? This isn't a good look. We as black women should not be arguing on this show about Black Lives Matter. That is not what we need to do. I know we have done things in the past that other black women have said, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. But to me, I register that as real life. If you have real life drama with a woman, you have real life drama. However, when it came to Black Lives Matter, I have a certain responsibility. All of us black women on this show who are wanting to use our platform for these families who don't have the voice that we have, I have the opportunity. I'm not pressured to talk about Black Lives Matter on Re Real Housewives of Atlanta. I feel the responsibility and it's an opportunity for me to speak for these families. It is something that is very connected to my spirit and is the way I show love to my people to speak up for them. So I am blessed to have this platform to speak about it. And so is Candy and anyone else who wants to do so. So I did not want us to be on Real Housewives, even if it was just a misunderstanding, because clearly I have the text. Even if it could have been cleared up, I just didn't like the way it was going to come off. Because you know, I don't have power over editing. Nobody does. So at the end of the day, if they decide to chop it up, or maybe it just didn't show right, and I didn't want the narrative to be out there that black women on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, instead of being responsible, doing something for the community and being effective, instead we're on there arguing about what Candy did or what Portia didn't do or what Nene didn't do. Okay? So I went to um, the Bravo. They decided after I explained everything to them that they agreed, you know what? I don't think that will be a good look. That is not the purpose we want in showing the black experience and what you guys are going through with Black Lives Matter. So they decided that they did not want to air that, period. And it was done. After that scene, I text Candy. And I said, um, you know, she, I, I asked her. We, we, well, we had a conversation on the phone, and then we text, right? And the whole point of me reaching out to her or her reaching out to me was so we could clear it up, right? Because what I didn't want was another person of such influence like Candy, right? To think that I would dare not respect what she's doing for black people, I, that I was trying to hinder it. That But this is the perfect opportunity for me to explain to you what actually happened. Because I don't want you to think that anything messy was going on with your name at all. So this is me clearing it up with Candy. So she went on to tell me what the texts were, you know, that she was upset. It pissed her off. She said she was pissed off, honestly, because she didn't think that her reaching out to the network without telling us was... Um, you know, going to upset us. And I was there to let her know that it wasn't about you upsetting us. It was about the fact that we just simply wanted to do it as a collective. Because at that moment, we had not talked to anyone from the network whatsoever. And the world is going haywire. And we wanted our company to represent black folks. Period. That's what it was. So, I explained to her what the text was. I repeated that, listen... I understand that you already sent in a request. I don't want to go behind you. Because if I go behind you or any of us girls go and ask the same thing, now you got confusion. 
And anytime you're in a movement, everybody has to be th speaking the same thing. And so once she told me that she had already reached out, we felt like, okay, fine, let's leave it alone. So then I told uh, Nene, Marlo, and I told Nene, Marlo, and uh, uh, Tanya, I said, let's pivot. Since Candy has already talked to the executives, let's just deal with, um, let's just deal with getting money. Let's have them do a donation. That's it. Let's just have them do a donation. Because we don't want to undercut. We don't want to send the same um, ask whatsoever. Someone said, I'm lost. What's this about? I guess you just joined. Anyway, this is about a kind of, well, you can go back and look at the live later. But anyway, I sent her the text. So we're going to look at these texts. The reason why I am going through this, and this is the last time I will talk about it, the only time I will talk about it is because now it's in an article, Food Vulture, that Bravo participated in, that Candy and all the housewives and everybody, it's a big article, right? So it carries some weight and it's said to be credible. And I want to make sure that the credibility is up to hell so I'm speaking and defending myself, which I should have the right to do. So anyway, these are the texts that I sent her that I talked about with Candy. So I said to her, I was talking to Nene, and I said, oh, yeah, I was talking to Nene, and I said, so because all of that, this is me saying that Candy emailed, I wish we would have known what happened. I'm going to put all of these e texts into my story after this live, so don't worry. I said, so because of that, which was because Candy had already spoke to them, it is what it is. We're not upset about it because she did. Let's pivot so we can still be effective. I said, so because of that, I don't think it's going to go anywhere besides asking for a donation. Nene said, right. So then, I, then, so then I said to her, I said, now there is no way to come to Bravo as a group. Everyone might as well send their own email. I said, anything program related would have been, uh, I said, anything program related, we would want Truth to produce, which is our production company, and pitch to Bravo because we are Bravo talent. So you will go through True in order to pitch any programming to the network. So then, so then I said, so for me really, when we talk to the executives tomorrow, I said, I really think we should focus on asking for, uh, for a donation ask. I said, as for the rest of the ladies, they can express what they want in their own. So we as a group, since Candy, you know, on her own right, she had the right to, went ahead and talked to them on her own. We as a group, the only way we're going to really be effective at this point is if we simply ask for a donation. So then I tell her, I, fit, I, I just kind of summarized what that text was with Nene. And I said to her, I said, I'm not going to let the show make a mockery of BLM. I said, we have been doing great things and cannot let this overshadow our efforts. This is what I said to Candy. She said to me, I didn't think it was about BLM. She said, I'm definitely not trying to make a mockery. She said, but I didn't think that's what was happening. So that's an opportunity for me to explain to her, Candy, that no, this is a mockery. If we as black women are sitting on... If we as black women are sitting on uh, Bravo arguing about Black Lives Matter, you're absolutely making a mockery of us using our platform. And that's a bad thing. And it's a terrible look. And it's not progressive. It's counterproductive. So then I sent her another text. I sent her that, that text that I just read you guys. And I sent another text. Okay. After I said that, Nene said I feel the same. So then, this is the part where so-called I was dogging her. Kenya keeps going on all these outlets. Now she's on Vulture, saying that I, you know, saying that I want to look better. I want to be ahead of the movement. She said on Candy, speak on it that I am trying to ruin, that come at Candy and all that. That I dogged Candy out. I was talking crap about Candy. This is what I said. I said. Nene said, I feel the same. I said, sad though. Damn, could have been even, could have even great together. Of course, it meant could have even been. 
could have been even great together. Nene said, very sad. After she said, very sad, I said, but if any of you ladies want my individual support or on something, let me know. Nene said, okay, P. Nene never dog walked Candy. I never spoke bad about Candy. All we were saying, and I'll sum it all up, is that there was a misunderstanding between Candy and I about a blogger who took something out of context. Candy had gone on to the uh, Bravo and spoke to them. Nene and I felt like, well, that's sad. We could have gone to Bravo together, but since this is where we are, let's pivot and just ask for, um, let's pivot and just simply ask for a donation. Candy's, what she wants are equitable opportunities for people. I'm more on the criminal justice side. So she wanted programming. She wanted to help get a seat at the table. And all of that is great. And to show you that I felt it was great, when she did her first show, I was on the show with her. You guys remember me on the panel for Black Lives Matter for Bravo. That was candy show that I participated in. I have always supported her and will always support another black woman in the movement and anything she's trying to do, whether it's on the business side and the front line or to policy. Either way, I'm going to support it. And I am very, I am held to a certain standard because of my position on uh, Housewives and I'm held to a, a certain responsibility to Black Lives Matter to be responsible. Do y'all remember when I, back in the day, said something crazy about, you know, the Underground Railroad? That was irresponsible. That wasn't the way to use my platform. That was ignorant. And I decided over the years I was going to be better, period. And if I'm going to be better and I'm going to be effective, then I need to take responsibility for how I look, what I portray, how all of us black women on Housewives portray ourselves in this moment. Because it's very important. You can't be asking white folks to change something. You can't be asking white folks to help you make something better, give you a seat at the table, and you acting an ass. So therefore, I did not want that to be on the show. Whether it was true or not, whether it was a misunderstanding or not, whether I was right or wrong, which I happen to have been right, I did not want it on there. But Kenya Moore continues to go on every platform out. And the Bravo is telling her, do not talk about this. And she's using it to say, Portia's trying to silence me from talking about a scene she had deleted. No, I didn't have a scene deleted for Portia. Because what you don't understand, sweetheart, is that the movement is not about me as an individual. At all. And that means, and you would understand that if you could sacrifice something for someone else. Anything I've ever done on a majority off camera is a sacrifice for someone else. If I care so much about who I was, my platform, my jobs, my businesses, then I would not be speaking out about something that white folks don't like. And, it, and that's so that's not the case. I speak from my heart. I deal in my heart because it's in my blood. It's in my legacy. And I am only speaking on this now because there is an article out that is very disheartening to me. It is a pure lie, and I have to clear it up. If I want to continue to talk about things that mean something to me, I must clear things like this up. It is my responsibility. Because when I speak to you guys about anything Black Lives Matter, anything criminal justice, anything, I want you to know that I'm speaking of a place that I am informed and that I care and that I'm well connected and I am sincere. And I don't have to prove that to anybody. I didn't have to do this live. Many people told me don't do this live. They said, you know what? You don't got to talk to that. That's a very small part of an article. They talk about you great in the article. They say you're the fan favorite in the article. If that was the case, if I cared about that, I wouldn't be speaking now. Because the article speaks lovely of me. It speaks highly of Portia as a talent on the show. But the reason I'm putting myself out there right now is because this is connected to Black Lives Matter and the black woman on this show. I want me and Candy, and if Kenya could get her mind right, in the future to be able to do something. Mainly Candy. I respect her. I hate that this has been put out there. I hate that she didn't clear this up the way I'm clearing it up because that would have also been helpful 
to this situation, if when can can you was saying these things, it you will also show that it was not anybody dogging you out. It wasn't negative. It was nothing like that. So again, my position is that I just want to be effective. I'm blessed to have this platform. I'm blessed that you people are on here right now listening to me. I am blessed to be able to put a voice for people who don't have a voice. I have access. I am able to have influence. If I were to use that just to talk about me, I wouldn't be talking about this. So please understand that if I'm quiet on little things here and there, reading this and that, anytime I speak on these girls, Trust me, it's on a show that I'm paid to be on. If Dish asks me about them, I'm going to talk about it because I'm paid to be talking about it. If a chat room asks me, I'm paid to be talking about it. I don't do these little free interviews talking about these girls. But I'm doing this live absolutely free because this cause means something to me. Making sure it's understood that I would never tear down Candy for what she's doing or what she's done means something to me. So to be clear, I'm sure you all got it. You can go back over the live. I won't keep repeating it. Um, you guys weren't very friendly to me. You're like rushing me, but I just had to get this out so that you, because I'm not going to talk about it anymore. So for once and for all, it's out there, right? But now I want to talk about one more thing before I go. Since I do have almost 30,000 people in here, let me talk about what really matters to me. Let me take the focus away from what Kenya is trying to spew out there as negative on every single platform and how Candy, who is also, you know, she's clearing it up. She's making sure it's known.